I am sure there is going to be disaster while he's gone. I just thought my not film at all. Yeah, you better film. <laughs> Well, I'll film, film all your accidents you have. Oh, accidents. No accidents. All right. Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Hi, we just wanted to let you know uh, a little bit about our new caravan. Uh, currently, yep. we actually own a cross cater, cross cater, cross country extreme, cross country extreme, and it's twenty one foot, 20, twenty one foot roughly. And we've actually opted to get a hurricane, which is how how big? About fifteen foot. So why are we downgrading to a smaller like, caravan? Well, technically, we are downgrading, but we're not. Why are we getting a smaller caravan? Well, it's for me to do a solo trip and obviously you don't need a 21 foot by yourself. So I um, do. She, I mean, <laughs> it is good with the extra separate toilet and showers. But okay. we've bought the Hurricane for Gil's solo trip. So tell me, where are you going with your solo trip so everybody knows? Basically, we're in Melbourne. We're at Melbourne, Adelaide, up to Alice Springs, across to the Kimberley and yeah, maybe Broome, Good River Road, that area uh, subject to roads being open and the weather and so on. So doing some rough roads, corrugations, so on, which, yeah, the cross country extreme can handle that, but by myself, it's just no point in towing a big van. So the smaller van is gonna be better fuel economy, just gonna be easier to tow, feel safer, uh, easier to get in the camper spots and just generally on those tight little tracks, it's just gonna be easier to maneuver and. So he's going to do all the rough stuff that I my back wouldn't be able to handle at this particular stage. Yeah, so yeah, doing a few four-wheel drive type tracks. Get the bucket rough. list done before yeah. he kicks the bucket. <laughs> well, hopefully that'll be a while. We can do a few. <laughs> hopefully, we might a, be able to do it again. <laughs> cross a few more of those off before it happens. Yeah. So if you see Gil solo, <laughs> stop and talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> if he gets some, he's going to try all these things that. I wouldn't let him do it while we're together <laughs> because I won't risk the car and the caravan in places, but you yeah. would, wouldn't you? Well, yeah. I mean, a four-wheel drive's meant to be taken bush. Yeah. yeah. So, Just take out yeah. extra life insurance. So what would happen to the channel? What we're going to do with the channel is because Gil's going to go solo, he will still be filming his solo trip. The and best I can. Yeah, and sending it down to me. Um, and it'll probably be a series and I will be working on the property, my parents' property, um, helping set up the base camp here, doing some volunteer work and working on some future things for the channel. So you'll be busy while I'm away. Yeah. Busy. Before we start putting these videos out, of course, there'll be a bit of time lapse between, you know, recording, sending it down to Melbourne and, you know, editing and so on. So in the meantime, we've got a few, um, of our trips already, yeah. A few videos to come up from the previous trip up to Brisbane. There's a few more videos there. And then we did a quick trip out to Bendigo. So there's a, a few more videos before we actually start posting our uh, trip. the solo the solo trip. Yeah. We, I, yeah. we now have a guy who edits our videos. And so we need to give him enough time to get our stuff, put it together and send it back to me so I can upload it. Yeah. Now, Gil, how do you feel about doing a solo trip without your wonderful, beautiful wife here to be able to tell you um, what you're doing wrong all the time? <laughs> how uh, do you feel about it? Yeah, okay. Um, that's you're getting red. Are you getting embarrassed? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, obviously, it's nicer to do things together and create memories and um, obviously a lot easier um, I've got my, so you, my, you say life's easier with me. Yeah, well, I've got my co-pilot to tell me where to go. and I'll tell you where to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's, yeah, it's going to be a bit lonely and um, at times, of course. I'm sure Probably you're going to talk to every single person that you come in contact with. No, I don't think so. I think no. so. I think so. I know. Yeah. I know. Gil's, yeah. Gil's really good at talking to everybody. <laughs> 
I will feel a bit more freedom to go off on some of the um, trips. riskier side trips that um, I probably you know wouldn't go on with you sitting next we've, to me. We've got track my iPhone, so if he gets <laughs> lost, I can find you. <laughs> True. True. <laughs> and I might get a bit close to the crocodiles, and Joy would uh, want to, and. Uh, yeah, he's, he's be a bit more adventurous, he's definitely riskier basically. than I am. Yeah, he's definitely more adventurous and more riskier to the point where I do get worried. So please, everybody, look out for him <laughs> while he's gone. For me, I am going to have a ball. Jeepers, I'm going to get so much done while you're away. Yeah, I don't know how I'll go with uh, filming and uh, so on when we're when I'm by myself. It's a bit easier when. You know, your partner's filming you doing whatever you're doing. and Stupid things. Um, <laughs> but if you need two hands for stuff, um, yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll work it out. I'll get there. We'll work it out, yeah. It'll learn to use a drone. I think we need to do that about 100 more times. Don't you? Mm, yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be a solo for me because I'm going to be spending six months or whatever without Gil. And um, it'll be a solo for Gil. So yeah, yeah. I think it's good and healthy. I, I reckon more partners should do this. Don't yeah, you? Yeah. And what should we call my solo trip? Is it just Gil's solo trip? Or is it, you know, is there a... Gil does shit. <laughs> no. Um, Gil does should... stupid shit. That's what we should call it. <laughs> Gil and the hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're so, going red in the face already. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's written on his bucket list all this stuff the crazy stuff he's going to do that he thinks right i can get away with walking with a crocodile swimming with crocodiles you want to swim with crocodiles no i'm not swimming i only freshwater once well if you yeah. don't bite and they don't hurt so much the teeth are smaller <laughs> so um in a few weeks time i'll start to see gill's trip yeah well i've got to finish packing and you know do a few more little mods, which you'll see down the track. Got a, about three pages of uh, things to get done yet so before I head off. So we'll... And I'm trying to get him to go as quick <laughs> as I can. Uh, she said, when are you going? He, you going? he was, originally he was going to go on the first, uh, second, the second of mm. June. Mm. Okay. It's already the 12th of June and he still hasn't gone. Yeah. He's definitely leaving in June. Oh yeah, definitely. Otherwise he's going to be sleeping outside. Oh, in Hurricane. In Hurricane. <laughs> but we'll be looking forward to seeing you in your solo trip. Yeah. Okay, that's a wrap from us for today. Yeah. And we will see you in our next video. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> peace. peace. What's a uh. peace for?